Hello everybody, it's Rick. It's Friday, September 16th. I just finished making a video um, about filing a, a claim in uh, United States District Court for deprivation of rights and how you have to uh, rebut a lot of the presumptions because uh, they'll, they'll presumption you to death and cause you to lose your case. Um, but um, <clears throat> anytime bef before you, f when you do file these cases, now I didn't notice, I'm just learning all this stuff now and I'm passing it on to everybody else. Um, you, you, you can't file an appeal. I mean, you can, but the appeals courts, uh, they'll hold it against you. A lot of times they, they work on a presumptions as well and they'll say, well, uh, you should have demanded jurisdiction when you were in the courts. And they'll even agree that you had the, the, the right to do that, but you didn't exercise it. And when you remain silent, it's called acquiescence. You're accepting what they're doing to you. So you have to be belligerent. Okay, I read a, a, a Supreme Court ruling somewhere. I forget the name of it, but... It states that when you have, you see, rights, you have rights. You just have to fight for them, as we're finding out. And they notice, these criminals, like in family court. They know you have these rights, but they know the average person is not going to fight for these rights. They're just going to give up. A lot of them are ignorant. It's not their fault, you know, because they, they rely on these people called lawyers who are all crooks. Who, and, I, and I found a lot of these lawyers are dumb, are very dumb people. They, they know about as much as everybody else because they do everything based on uh, what they have heard from whoever they work for. You know, a lot of these things are a handshake deal. These lawyers all know each other. So these lawyers aren't going to go and bust each other's chops and say, hey, you're violating my client's constitutional rights. Listen, if you ever go see a lawyer, you want to find out if the lawyer is worth anything before you, before you hand over any money for the retainer? Start asking the lawyer about the Constitution and see what reaction you get. They hate the Constitution, okay? They took over the courts, the Bar Association. And they hate the Constitution because it's very simple. The law is very simple. It's not that hard. It's right and wrong. They complicate it because when they have to unravel everything, that's where they get paid. Okay, so like I went to, you know, I figured all this stuff out a while ago. I'd go see a lawyer, and, and, and they won't talk to me. No, no, you got to file these papers. I'm like, no, why don't, why don't we, I have constitutional rights. No, no, you got to do it this way. And, and, and that's when I, I'd get up and walk out, you know. So today I'm going to family court. These, so in order to, before, when you, the first thing when you do when you get your case, if you're filing it and, and, district court, or even a state court, you have to immediately file a notice of demand for writ of quo warranto, or waranto, whatever they want to call it. I call it warranto. I'm from New York, and I have a thick New York accent. And then you file a demand to vacate if they cannot provide you evidence. Now, whenever a court issues a ruling, they're supposed to, supposed to, uh, cite their jurisdiction. Now, you know where the jurisdiction comes from, everybody? Evidence. Okay? You go to traffic court. Why are you in traffic court? You're, you're, either, you're either speeding, red light, or any other them stupid infractions. But that's the evidence. That's why you're in traffic court. Why are you in Supreme Court for divorce? Because you obviously were married and you're trying to, to, to break a contract with your ex-wife or ex-husband. That's the evidence. So a family court, what's the evidence supposed to be? They don't have any. They never list it. They just, they just dictate. They summarize what's going on. They throw a few case laws in there, and that's what they do. And then you're screwed. And then you got to spend the next three, four, five years of your life fighting these criminals. So that's the best way, this, and, I, and I've done my videos, if anybody who's watching my videos and, and following along, they know that I filed a writ of quo warranto uh, in family court at the end of July, and like five days later, I got a response right away, and I went before a, a judge who was actually a very decent man, and 
And maybe because he's a man. I, I've been dealing with nothing but women. <laughs> and I think that's done on purpose. Uh, but, uh, and he put a stay on my child support. So right now, they're not stealing any money from me right now because I was able to go into court and, and, and provide evidence. It took a little while. Some people might have saw the video. I put a, uh, you saw my last video. I, 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 I put it for private uh, viewing only because I'm, I'm trying not to anger these people. I just want to get my money back, all right? Sometimes you, you, you can't go in there. I've seen some videos of people going there, confrontational and everything. And even some of my videos, it may appear to be that I'm being confrontational. I'm really not. I'm just trying because they'll shut me up right away and everything's being audio recorded. So I'm trying to get everything on the, on the record. They'll, they redacted that anyway. That's another scam. I'll do a video on that one day. How the uh, they make you pay for the uh, audio transcripts, and then they they redact all the, the uh, infam all the uh, testimony that <laughs> they don't want anybody to read, like an appeals court or something down the road. But you got uh, so now getting back to, to uh, you got to demand a, a writ of quo warranto, which is means by what authority? So. We know everybody. You gotta you gotta start reading the Constitution. You gotta read the the United States Constitution, and you have to read the New York State Constitution because they're all bound by it. The first thing they do is they take an oath, all right. And the oath is their contract that they're supposed to follow the Constitution. Not they never do, but you know you can hold them to it eventually. You know if you know what you're doing. So, so like the you know, the the Fourth Amendment. Protects your property from seizure unless by a warrant, accompanied by oath or affirmation. All right, so this is their, one of their bullshit income withholding orders. This is child support's uh, weak attempt at a warrant. Now, remember, it's child support agency. It's not a court. This is, people listening, this is another thing you should put in your argument. It's called the separation of power, separations of power doctrine. Okay, the judicial branch of government can't perform the duties of the executive branch. The executive branch can't perform the duties of the judicial. The legislative branch can't perform any other thing other than writing laws. You understand? So now, child support agency is an agency within the executive branch of New York State. They have absolutely no authority whatsoever to create their own warrant. A warrant has to come from a judge upon probable cause, and it's got to be signed. All right, so well, we got this bullshit, this forgery, right? The back page is blank. Uh, my friend Mike Gilligan showed me his, and his is blank. You want, you want to know why this is blank? Because whoever signs that will be liable for criminal impersonation or that could be liable for deprivation of rights. Because most of the time there's no... Ju so it says, signature of judicial official. Why is that box there? That box is there for a reason, but they never sign it. It's what they call robo. They robo issue it. There's nobody signing anything. So now, the writ of quo warranto. I'm demanding. And I also do writ of quo warranto. This is a good thing that we say. Silence can only be equated with fraud where there's a legal or moral duty to speak or where an inquiry, that's what we're doing, we're inquiring right now, what's your authority and jurisdiction, left unanswered, would be intentionally misleading, okay? It's a United States case, United States versus Chuil. All right, so now I've done some research. They're supposed to respond within three to 20 days. That makes sense why they got back to me so soon when I filed it back in July. Okay, a hearing in response to writ of quo warranto must commence within 20 days or vacate all orders issued under their, their fake dockets. These are called prerogative writs. That's, and the word prerogative is actually, it's supposed to be prerogative. Writ of quo warranto is presented inside Queen's Family Court to support Madras suiting car requiring the extraordinary, I put that in there, Authority to order Richard Wyman Jr.'s property deprived without due process of a warrant based upon probable cause accompanied by oath and affirmation 
and without a trial by jury as guaranteed by the United States Constitution Bill of Rights. You got the fourth, right, warrant seizures. Fifth, you don't have to give criminate, you get, and you're, you're entitled to due process. Seventh, you're entitled. All courts are supposed to be common law courts, everybody. They, they want you to think it doesn't exist. We're supposed to have common law courts, but they, they, over the years they've suppressed it. But they're supposed to be uh, common law courts. So any controversy, if I have a controversy with, with John Smith and he claims I owe him $20 or more, or I claim he owes $20 or more, we're supposed to have a trial by jury. So in other words, your property can't be, in any controversy, can't be taken unless by uh, a trial by jury. And there's a good case law called Hokey, a Hoke, H-O-K-E versus Henderson, which states that uh, it's both, uh, any statutes where your rights are deprived without a trial by jury are unconstitutional. Okay? So, so and here's the New York State Bill of Rights I throw in there. Remember, this is number one, Article 1. This is the Bill of Rights. No member of this state shall be disfranchised or deprived of any rights or privileges secured to any citizen thereof unless by the law of the land. All right, you know what the law of the land is? The United States Constitution. Or the judgment of his or her peers. All right, so you can't be deprived of any rights unless you, uh, it's uh, pursuant the law of the land or by a judgment of your peers. So what is the judgment of your peers? It's trial by jury, guys. Trial by jury, how wave? Trial by jury, this is number two. Trial by jury in all cases in which it has heretofore been guaranteed by constitutional provision. Remember I just told you, uh, Seventh Amendment? Shall remain inviolate forever, meaning they can't take it away from you. No law can be written. So child support laws... They deprive you of this all the time, don't they? That means they're unconstitutional. But a jury trial may be waived. Nobody that I know of waives this. They don't even ask you because they're afraid if they ask you, you're going to say, oh, no, I'm not going to waive it. So they don't even bring it up. They just bully everybody. Now, New York State Bill of Rights, equivalent to the Fourth Amendment, is the 12th, uh, uh, Section 12, Article 1. It's almost a mirror image of the Fourth Amendment, Okay. The right of people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. What are they doing with these child support orders, people? They're seizing your property, right? It's not a warrant. So you got them, okay? Shall not be violated. And no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. So now, how is, how is a support magistrate going to respond to that? She can't. There's not a person in this, even the President of the United States, not one person in any office has the jurisdiction and the authority to deprive you of these rights guaranteed by the United States Constitution. That's why lawyers don't argue this, because it's very cut and dry. It would be great if you get a lawyer to go into to, to a court and say, Your Honor, he has a right for the Fourth Amendment. You can't take, and, and the judge, because it's on the record, but, but by the way, that lawyer would get in big trouble. <laughs> they have their own little uh, their own little rules that we're not supposed to know about. They, they're not supposed to do that, embarrass the judge. They'll never win on the case again. Or what they'll do is any orders that they've had where, um, where they were given money awards, some slick judge will vacate that a judgment from, let's say, 10 years ago. So let's say a, a, a lawyer won a case 10 years ago where he won a bunch of money. Some judge might go back and read it and say, oh, wait a second. The Constitution wasn't followed here. You know what? I'm reopening this, and I'm going to vacate it. Guess what? All that money's got to be given back. <laughs> you, see how, you see how slick they are? Okay? 90%, I read somewhere, 90% of the judgments, maybe more, avoid judgments. Okay? So that's what you do with a writ of quo warranto. And a writ of quo warranto has to be submitted with a writ of error quorum nobis. I'll do a video on that. Because you know me, I like to talk. And with that is a writ of prohibition. Where uh, the, Now, family court is a court of limited jurisdiction, meaning it's an inferior court. Okay? An inferior court, a superior court, such as the United States District Court, is allowed to tell them that they're doing something wrong and prohibiting them. All right, everybody, I'm going to close this video off. I'll get back to you another time.